Dimensions, exercise two. In this example, we'll first fill in the center lines and the hidden lines before we add our dimension lines. So let's remember, from center lines we know any circular component will have a center line. And if we start with two short lines, we continue with long, short, long, short. So we'll fill in our center line here. And we definitely know that we have a circle here. If we just look at the principal view, it's not clear that there's a circle anywhere else. So let's for now stick with this and say we translate this over in an axial form. That's how the center line will look. And if we look at the top, again, it will also be, remember, through your 45 degree line, you'll have the axial line running through there. Here we have another circle. So we'll have again a circle with our center lines. And now as we translate it down, we can see the center line will be here. And if we translate it across, we can actually see the center line runs through there. So that's the center lines. Remember, important, center lines are always shown on all three views. Now, hidden detail. Hidden detail is only shown on one of the views. So for every feature, it's just shown once. So what can we show here? We want to show the slot, and we want to show this hole here at the top. So we can decide, let's say for example, we want to show the hole here at the top. So we have our hidden lines to indicate that. And the slot here at the bottom, what we want to show is this side of the slot and that side of the slot. Okay, so we translate these lines in the same way that we've done before. So that's how you know where you would have to draw them. And that's all the hidden detail we need. We will not have to do the hidden detail for the slot here, or the hidden detail for the circle there as well. Just on one of the views is more than enough to show that it's actually cutting it right through. Okay, so now once we've had an opportunity to put the center lines and the hidden lines, we can continue to do dimension lines. I'm just gonna do a couple of dimension lines to show you um, how we draw these on. So remember we had the, this before, we had a circle and we draw the dimension line through the center at a 45 degree angle to the cross. We extend it out and we have diameter 40 in this case. Perpendicular to that line, if we have a second circle, we draw it across, we extend the line, and this for example is diameter 80. We could dimension between the bottom surface and a center line, so that's allowed. And we can dimension here at the bottom making sure that you extend your lines far enough away so you don't have your dimension line running through uh, any of the center lines. Also really important to remember is the arrow shapes. So remember the arrows, if you forgot from your line alphabet, the arrows are long and thin. We don't make wide open arrows and we don't make these arrows. But if you've forgotten this, please go and look at your line alphabet tutorial to just refresh this. Okay, now for example, what you'll do in an exercise when you get this in a practical class is you'll fill in at the beginning all the dimensions that you see given on the drawing. So we just continue looking at where they are shown and then adding them to our drawing. And you can see there's a specific way in which I write the 40, which side of the line I'm writing the dimension itself. That's also in your notes, so if you've forgotten that, please make sure to go and check and make sure you know how to do these dimensions correctly. In this case, we have a circle larger than half a circle, so we still use the diameter. We wouldn't use radius in this case, we still use diameter. And we can always extend from a center line to draw in our dimensions. Now, if we, for example, wanted to dimension this piece, of the component. Remember we prefer not to dimension them on the component and rather outside of the component. Now if we extend from here, we have to draw this extension line all the way from where we are. So this is the part of the component we want to dimension and it's between this line and that line. So the extension line does not run from the base but it actually runs from this point slightly away from it and we can fill in this dimension over here. So remember, you want to make sure that you have enough space here. So if you drew your 112 dimension in quite close, you'll have to erase it to be able to have space for the smaller dimension before you get to the larger dimension. 
So a typical mistake that students would make here is to have this extension line only run here from the bottom and not include this part as well. So please make sure that you have the extension line running from the component that you are actually trying to dimension.